Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. There's some monsters. The yeah, monsters are okay, they're, they're, they're okay. I'm a little bit on green, but not on fire. Which is definitely a thing that happens. Last episode we, we died. We died because I was on fire and poisoned at the same time. And this monster's really upset about something. <sighs> it had a level up the in in its tummy, the 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 monster did. Let's look at what we got. We got skills. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh right now I'm where I want to be. Eh, well, more or less. Uh now we're well it's because the persuasion. I want all the persuasions. Where, where did I get a level 10? When a human cowers, you gain a plus 25% armor for 10. Oh, that's nice. That's kind of good. We could also lie. We'll go with lie or intimidate. Both of those would be interesting. Scramble auto mechanicals attack at their normal speed. Auto mechanicals scramble. Oh, we can scramble. Right, right. Auto mechanicals by just being good at lying. There's some stretches there. I understand the logic, but there's some stretches. Uh, base skill bonus, uh, terrified creature movement minus 30, yeah, those are fine. Uh, we got a bunch of skill or a bunch of, uh, stealth that I don't really want, and investing in that is basically gonna invest in that. So... Unlock the ability to sell goods, unlock the access to restricted items in vending machines, at level 60, hack auto mechanicals to turn them off for 10 seconds. I, I want that. I want that a lot. Also, I do not have any buffs in, in hack. And hack more than lockpicks is... Uh, I don't think you can... I'm not really sure how it works for... Um, if the skill check is higher, can you just put more shunts in? Or do you just normally... not, Or do you just not... Are not capable of hacking things? Because I think in lockpicks you can just... I'm not really sure. We found a workbench. That's good. I can repair my crap. The, there's machines bipping at me. A lot of dead people. So this workbench over here. Let's repair all the things. 33 weapon parts and 6 armor parts. That's good enough. I can also break down, but... Uh, let me do that off camera. Break. I'm not going to break down. I'm going to break down some things. You know what I mean. Done. We have a lot of armor parts, like 400, 300, something around those lines. And uh, I was a little bit afraid that because we are finding more and more expensive stuff, uh, and because I'm breaking things down. Uh huh. That one requires 95. I guess I have my answer answered. That's. I said what I said. That's what I was looking for. Um. But, uh. But, yeah, so, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. We're not, I mean, I haven't been really paying too much attention to using the armor parts for upgrades or anything, so. I say armor parts, but weapon parts, too. Uh, so, that is for melee skills. That is for, hmm, determination. Heavy grade face mask. Good face mask. And then some, a bin that doesn't open until I look away, which is true. Okay, now to sell some things. Uh, even though it's not ideal, because I got I got a better deal el elsewhere. But you know what? It's fine. So to sell. Oh, actually, I might want to buy. Or not. No, buying is irrelevant. Uh, let's <laughs> let's just sell things. So we have a lot of stuff in here. I'm not gonna sell that because it's great. And then we have some other stuff around here. If I really wanted to sort of maximize things, I would wait until these are, until these were, um, or I wouldn't sell these ones that are special. But the difference in price is not that great. It's only twice, so it's like, yeah. If you were like th this, these cost ten more, uh, ten percent or ten more times, I should say, or a thousand percent more, uh, then it would make sense the fifty percent discount. As it is, it's just a little bit more uh, change, chump change. So, sell, hold the junk if I hold Z, and then I just 
do that. Sounds good to me. Purpleberry police. Oh. I think that, that goes with the other... With the other... Yeah, it's their colors, isn't it? The blue and the pink. It's actually purple, but... We'll, we'll call it pink. It's... What's... There's a name for it. Vi Violet. I think so. I'm not really sure. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's their colors. The purple berry police. Which is the uh, Rizzo's police. Wait, is it? It is. This is the other corporation. No bad people around? I, I mean, they're not people. They look cool, though. They look cool. So this is barred. There's definitely a door in there that I have not been through. Which means secrets. And I've been in here. But if that one is barred, it might be possible to get in. What's that sound? Nothing back here. And that's just the road. That's a Manti Queen down there. I don't know what the other ones are. That's bad, because uh, I thought the Queen was the boss, and apparently... Nope. The Queen was not the boss. It was just a boss. Okay. So the Mullers got in here, murdered everybody. At least I don't see anybody or any corpse. Any body is what I meant to say, but the corpse is more... You understand what I'm trying to say? That one is turned off. The the house is disabled. Or house is locked, I should say. I'm thinking there might be a puzzle here. They really started the game off with them and then decided not to have them. It's sort of weird that that's the case, because jumping puzzles are... They're a thing, because they're super easy to make. <laughs> they're... They, they, they... Well... It's all about the level designers, I suppose, and the orders that they have. But, uh... But, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway. We're gonna save our curiosity as for what the, uh, as to what the, uh, the other door leads to. Some other time. Let's save these people curiosity. Oh, dang it. I was holding... I was ho holding the, the key. Aren't they the bravest friends? Are you blocking? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Don't you dare. Oh, yeah, you are. Rat, rat, rat. Ah. Yeah, good job, mates. Ah. Oh, no, you're not blocking. You're doing... You're creating these things, aren't you? And setting me on fire as well. This weapon... Do you see how... Like... Irregular... My shots are. There's a timing to it. There's a timing to it, and I don't know... How that timing works in uh, in comparison to a really semi-automatic weapon, which is what this is. Well, I guess technically it is a semi-automatic weapon. You that distinction is sort of irrelevant in in the world of weaponry, especially when you start considering that you have a, la a, a laser weapon or a plasma gun or whatever. It's not, like it's just a name that applies to old weapons more more so than Are anything. Sure, we ought to go this way, Captain. I don't know, I'm just exploring. Because uh, the manual action, it, it's not a uniform type of action of, of a weapon. It's called an action, The what happens when you pull the trigger. I think it's one stage or two stage, I'm not actually sure. And then there's other things. And then automatic weapons are the ones whose action don't require you to do anything apart from triggering or from uh, from pulling the trigger to have to be able to pull the trigger again. Um, or no, how does that work? No, that's semi-automatic. Automatic is when the weapon keeps shooting while you're triggering, or while you're pulling the trigger. And I have seen images of this planet. I have seen images of this planet, and I was like, 
That looks like Borderlands to me. No, no, my memory betrays me. I mean, this might very well look like Borderlands, but that's not... It, it, it does look lo like Borderlands. <laughs> it does look a little bit... I think it does. My memory betrays me because what I was actually seeing was a Borderlands trailer. I'm just misremembering. Um, so, yeah, watching a Borderlands trailer, Borderlands 3 specifically, and being like, that look, lo looks like Borderlands. Well, no kidding. I mean, it's a good thing that he does, because when I saw the Fallout 3 trailer, it didn't look like Fallout. Anyway, uh, let's not... <laughs> let's not. Anyway. Um, the point is, it, there. I think there's an area in Borderlands 3 that looks like this, ever so slightly. It's really the trees, though. I'm not sure what they are. They're cool. They're really cool. I like them. And then I have these big canyons made out of lichen for all I know I mean I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because look at these things I wish I had one of these tiny though not that big although I wouldn't be able to fit that anywhere I like I like round corners in brick bracks basically <laughs> okay now that I have I, I uh, that's was it this episode or was it the episode before where I talked no it was the it was last episode that I talked about the plushie. Or was it this one? I don't remember. For the Sprats? It probably are... It's probably possible to get one. I'm not really sure how you'd go around, but... Like, there's tea Teespring and services like that. You probably can make stuff like that. Just plushies. Make your own plushie. That probably exists. Just need to pay three times the price. Yeah. Here we go! Oh! Okay, that's bad news. Whoa. Yeah, I realize what's happening. Am I out of ammo? I am not out of ammo. No, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, it's fine. Um, they probably just won't be able to ship you the plushie, otherwise they they would be sued for copyright infringement. They might be able to. Oh no, we are back here. Okay. Here we go. We're not back here. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, is that we need a 3D here printer for plushies, so that we can print. Oh, this is this is our demise here. Woohoo, I dodged that oh no. I am so out of here. Uh so we can bring our own sprats. Did you hear that obsidian? Get on with it. And of course all of my team died. These guys are really tough. The uh oh there's the little ones. The, um, the swarm is incredible. I'm pretty sure the Manti Queen actually hides. Oh, they're back. They're back. Okay, I'm gonna switch to this. Nice hit. Thank you. They teleported to me, didn't they? I mean, my companions. Yep. It's good to be ha to have you back. Hmm. This is quite difficult. Maybe I should have heeded the warnings of the game. I just am not used to... Uh, I don't know. I hope it's not leveled content. I don't know. I don't like it. If... The, the, I grew up playing games where the, the game goes... Oh, it's this the, the bane of the world. It kills everybody. And I go there and I kill it. And I save things. If the game tells me it's dangerous, then I say, that's the main quest then. I mean, it's not the main quest. It's not the main quest. But... Plasma, won't help. Plasma won't help? Okay. 
That might explain why I'm having so much trouble. And also, oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. I don't like that. I have no intention of uh, staying around. What a jerk! What will help then? I'm also still on fire, by the way. Oh, this is plasma. Okay, I got my friends. Friends! Man, that Menti Queen is giving me trouble. It's got a symbol above its head. I wonder what it means. I don't know what it means. Can I please stop burning? I guess we have we have Alex Falambe. You okay, Cap? No, I'm clearly not. But fortunately I can just spam heals, so it's not It's not that big of a deal. This is getting ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's no, there's no way. Once you get on fire, you're on fire for di for life. Then, okay. Well, we kill. We did kill some of them, and I finally heard uh, Felix go go out and, and and actually help me out. Thank you, Felix. Your MVP here. I really thought it was gonna be the the. Shut up. I really thought it was gonna be the the electricity that was doing. A difference here. It won't help against them, but the little swarm... A little bit of tap dancing there. Uh, the swarm definitely goes down easily with um, with the plasma. It works really nicely against it. Which you'd think so. I mean, there it's a swarm. Electricity probably works like a charm, too. Okay, I'm trying to scout the perimeter because I m there might be more enemies. Oh, yeah. A Mega Raptidon. Let's save. <laughs> Let's take him down. Oh, I have not uh, processed the fact that uh, there were enemies next to me. And I am pretty sure that Felix got one shot, too. Hmm. In the butt. Okay, so we got the Manti Queen over there. Can we kill it? All together. All together now. There we go. So if you pay attention to what it's doing, and yes, we still have other friends. And kill it properly. Yes, you'll be on fire for a little while, but, you know. Yeah, this doesn't work against these. I see you on that right side. I don't know what you're doing. So the, the, the tempo here... And what I was rambling about before. Okay, we'll get you. What I was rambling about before is that that weapon over there. I don't know why I said that you, you might you must think that I'm a lunatic <laughs> for for rambling about things without any reason. Well, you you're probably not new to the channel, so you, that's probably a uh, given. Um, so yeah, what I was talking about before is that this weapon in particular. If you click like, I don't know, tick, 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 it'll shoot. Like, um, right there. But if you accelerate the rate at which you click, it won't shoot as fast. And the reason for that is because the second click will not get, it will not register. So I was saying that I don't know how real weapons work because, uh, uh, because I th I'm pretty sure that if you fear like if you shoot a a, a gun, uh, like a pistol, and if you let let the trigger go away and then pull it back again, it will either fire immediately after or immediately as you pull the trigger. 
or okay, this venues. You are the worst. You are the worst thing. Then my friends are not helping me. Or either that or it will wait until it's ready because the action. Oh my god, I keep not reloading. I'm so sorry. But yeah, because the action is uh, semi automatic. So if you're. If you have the trigger depressed, then it will fire as soon as it's ready. Anyway, let's get. I'm gonna get rid of this. So they could have made that weapon a little easier to handle. This weapon, not that. This weapon. And it isn't. It isn't easy. It's also not pleasurable. Because it just. You click and it doesn't work. I don't like that. That's not nice. Hmm. Okay, so we haven't looted this yet. Which is actually a lot of ammo in here. Nothing here? Nothing here, okay. And, uh, let's... Once more attempt to kill the uh, these fools. I'm not sure I can, though. Let's look at what we're doing and where we're going. Yeah, this is a big area of nasty and bad. <laughs> Uh, let's see if this is gonna be a little bit better then. Okay, so I know that there's the Magna wrapped Magna wrapped it on sure uh, But there's also the little ones which are actually more worrying Nah let's take him down. Yeah, you're blind, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay. I like it. I like it. I don't like it. Oh, this is bad news. I'm dead. Maybe. Thanks. I mean, I don't know. Also, I didn't loot this. It's just scrap mechanical. Well, we got rid of this little guy. So, progress. Man. They're really tough. Okay. This is, this is gonna be bad. Fire the weapon! I'm gonna die now. Okay. Uh, did he die? Yes. Oh, no. That's bad news. <laughs> okay. Did I reload? I did. Oh! I could almost have this. I don't know what, what it's doing. Reload, reload, just reload. Just reload, look at its teeth. It's beautiful, beautiful teeth. And shoot it. Shoot it in the face. A lot. Holy crap. Now we're not done yet. But that's about as done as, as it gets. <laughs> These are really tough enemies. And a hunting rifle ultra. I, I like the sound of that. Uh, did I not loot you? Maybe. Okay. Okay, okay. So that... It's basically the same weapon as I have. Except that one is... Better? It's got... Oh, because it's not damaged. Well, I guess might as well. <laughs> it's not that it matters. I mean, it does matter, It's, but it's just it, having it undamaged or damaged. I suppose I, if I have to opt for one. There's a corporate technician out here. And this... Uh, by the way, the amount of Adrenos that I used up is the reason why I try not to use them too much. Because I know that when I do need to use them, I'll just splurge. 
And I didn't even make a dent in our stash, though, so we're, we're good. I think we're gonna be totally fine. The I like the, the fact that it doesn't let you just spam heals while you're in combat. I mean, you can do that, it's just it doesn't heal you fully immediately. Uh, we have a sign that says, Welcome to Monar Monarch. We also have enemies. And I don't like that as much. I can't see them, though, but they're here. It's spitters. Okay. Guys doing well? I think they're doing well. I mean, what we went through just now was probably just a, a like a boss or something. We made it. We did make it to the end of the episode as well. So for right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been The Outer Worlds. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.